welcome to this edition of Cat Care. We're going to do a series of different types of cat care, mostly with questions that people have that are troublesome in their household. And today we're going to be talking about urinating outside the litter box. This is a very troubling, frustrating situation for so many people. And we, through the 19,000 cats we've had come through here, have learned about nine of the main things that really cause them to pee outside the litter box. So we're gonna kind of just bullet go through them. And of course, the first thing that most people are aware of is the lack of spay and neutering. If you don't spay and neuter your pet, when they get puberty, they start marking territory to show the other one they're available to get worn off other male cats and things like that. So it's so important to keep your cat healthy, be a responsible owner, and spay and neuter. Another one that happens a lot is stress in the household. You can have anything from changing too much to people yelling, fighting, um, toddlers, um, any sort of a stress of a newborn, the smell, the cries, um, stress could come from um, so many different types of things, just moving your furniture and, and too much change even stress from change of diet can cause a cat because they're hypersensitive to go outside the litter box. Uh, decline is not a good thing to do. Um, almost all the cats that we have seen have some sort of an issue, being skittish, hiding and all that, but being fearful. But the main thing is after the operation, it is very painful when they take it off back to the first digit it's not like pulling teeth it's actually an operation that removes half of their toe and it takes several weeks to heal and when they use the litter box it emits pain sharp pain up their arm and so they often associate the litter box with pain and they'll find other softer things like towels on the floor rugs carpet other things that don't hurt their feet to go to the bathroom and then it becomes habitual even after the pain has gone away from the healing. Some cats don't always heal, but the majority of them do. But please really do your homework before you consider decline because you might have a lot of other problems than protecting your furniture. One that people don't think about, especially in the winter time, is down comforters. Cats are attracted to certain smells and they're also repellent to certain smells. Down comforters, especially the ones with feathers in them, smell of bird and sometimes cats will try, will jump on the bed and try to cover that smell, scent it with their own smell that they like a lot better. Another one would be the leather. Leather smells of cow and sometimes a cat will go by and spray on leather furniture as a way of covering up the smell because to them it could be offensive. Um, the one thing with urine tract infections, that is really a common problem and it seems to be more um, prone to male cats and it seems to be associated a lot with food. Um, what I would call junk food and without you know discretion, I wouldn't buy stuff on the highest level and I wouldn't buy stuff on the lowest level. Um, some of the foods are too rich and other foods um, are junk food. It's like eating french fries every day. So go for a good protein, chicken and rice is best, something easy to digest. I leave out dry food all the time, a chicken and rice, high protein for my cats and then I give them canned food for treats. It's good to have a combination of both. Um, this kitty wants to go play, so we have another buddy. And um, the other thing is when, when kitties, it doesn't happen too often, thank God, but um, if they are borderline diabetes or diabetic, they can start urinating outside the litter box. It just, it's just, I don't really understand that one, but there seems to be a pattern there. Um, another huge problem is the litter box. Um, litter box location, don't hide it from yourself because your cat might have a hard time finding it too. Um, if you, if whatever floor the cat occupies should be the litter box. You don't want to hide it in a corner in the basement or anything like that. And it also could be, you know, bad material in it, not cleaning it enough. I mean, I don't think you'd want to use your toilet if it was full. A cat's the same way. They're very clean. They're very particular. Again, they're hypersensitive. 
and they react in their own way to things like that. One thing about the litter box, kind of a rule of thumb, is one litter box of appropriate size with good material per two cats, or one litter box per floor they occupy. Um, parasites is a big one. Parasites, if a cat has tapeworm in particular, could have other parasites, but they seem to go pee and sometimes defecate outside the litter box. And the reason why they're doing this is they're trying to communicate to you there's a problem. Um, they do it deliberately. They may turn around and look at you and do it, and it's a way of communicating, of getting your attention. And if you see that, especially if it is um, stool, you'll want to take a, a fresh sample into the vet and see if there is a parasite in it. And then one thing that the ninth thing that um, I recall that, that people don't think about, but is over teasing a cat, especially if you have teenagers or toddlers, they may tease, they may hit on it. It causes the cat a lot of stress and the cat takes that as rejection and rejection is, is a form of stress that people feel and you could imagine if a cat was teased all the time and picked on, it would feel like an alpha cat was picking on it and it would act in the same way. Anyway, take good care of your kitties, love all your pets, and remember they're just a treasure. Thank you.